You'll notice we're actually not generating any steam. We have very little steam left right now, only a little bit of power left. Um, basically, we're just waiting for the thing to stop working. Um, I normally be kind of worried about that steam boiler going like, "Hi, oh, you're poisoned again." But right now, um, honestly, I'm not really terribly worried about that because, huh, well, why would I be? My thing is not working terribly well. I'm gra grabbing my rat rubber, my rubber saplings. Because for some reason, this thing is losing rubber saplings instead of gaining them. Meh, don't know why. Anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is making... Ah, I suppose I don't really need a pulverizer anymore, do I? Because I've got... To, actually, I do sort of want a pulverizer. Um, pulverizers are marge... Even though even though our turtle here is free, which is kind of cute, and it, you know, it, it's it's a kind of a cute hack, um, it, it's not actually quite as good as a pulverizer in a handful of ways, so we might wind up making a pulverizer, just because I like having things that are better instead of just having things that are cute. Including this, it'll let me save my ferrous ore for long enough by letting me use my iron, by letting me treat my, make my iron ore into nickel. Um, <laughs> figures. Um, thanks. No, seriously, thank you, thank you so much. That was, that was, that was totally appropriate. That totally was, like, completely logical. I mean, let no one ever tell you that didn't make any sense. Um, boiler. Let no one ever tell you that, that was a completely absurd action, and I know why it's losing saplings. Because I didn't set up the automation here, because I was like, I don't want to do any automation while you guys are away. I just want to set up the thing so I can know how it works. So, um, we're going to do it in this episode, real quick. Because this is a new episode, I suppose. Um, how do you suppose? I don't know, right? I, I, I didn't call the end of the episode, and I actually this thing's live, which is why you have the obnoxious keyboard clicking. Hopefully you should see less keyboard clicking, because I moved my microphone! Yay! Also, hopefully I should not use the word C when I mean here. Ow. My neck is being weird. <laughs> Talk about it. Um. Yep, we have our sound. I want to go see if I can grab up four reeds to avoid wasting it. Okay, this this is stupid. This is this is just plain stupid. No, I I refuse to do this. I refuse to behave like that. That is stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. That's not more time efficient. It's not more actually efficient. It's just stupid. No, bad me, bad me. I will lecture you until you apologize to yourself. Wait, what? Yeah, okay, that was completely illogical. I'm actually gonna need another one. Oh God, which means I did waste something. Ah. Uh... Maybe, maybe I get this in in time, and then... Uh, yes, I can. Cool. Oh, wait. That section can't be removed yet. And it's not done yet, anyway. Cool. Um, so I actually need three of these. <laughs> I, did it just in, I did it just in time. Nice. Uh, I did not waste anything. Nice. See, and that wouldn't have been possible, threads. I will slap myself on camera. Which means I'll hit myself in the jaw with the palm of my hand. Ow. Yeah, and I have a minor headache, too. Great. Okay, okay. So we're going to need these two and this to make cobblestone transport pipes. I probably have transport pipes somewhere. We're going to make ourselves a wooden transport pipe, so they have those. Um, I have some cobblestone somewhere here. Yes, I know. Where are my cobblestones? Bro, there, there are some cobblestones. I don't know if that's all the cobblestones I have, but it's enough. So just need to make an engine here. So this is, as you've already probably seen me make, a redstone engine. That's a piston. And that is a redstone engine. Yay, redstone engines. Uh, we're going to make ourselves a lever here. That's a lever. That's a redstone engine. Okay, we have a lever and a redstone engine all laid out. Now we're going to take our lever and redstone engine. We're going to put them... Uh, well, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this. We're going to... Uh, I need a diamond pipe to do this. Perhaps not. Yeah. This is not going to work. I need a diamond... Is there another way of doing sorting? One moment, I'll be right back. So uh, the question is, can I make tubes? I believe tubes require zinc, which I believe I don't have any of. So I think I can't make any tubes. 
Now we're going to try something real quick. This is probably not going to work, but it's probably worth a try, I suppose. Which is to say, I'm going to try this. I don't think this will work, but to be honest, I don't see why it shouldn't. Well, I do see why it shouldn't. The tubes are supposed to be made of brass. But again, I'm, I'm, this is a Hail Mary here. Because otherwise, I, think I don't think I can build tubes until I've gone to the nether. And that would be kind of sucky. Because I don't want to get zinc in this mod pack. Also, I picked up a techie wiki wick open instead of a techie wiki, a techie wiki. Nope, not a thing, okay. Um, I picked up a techie wiki open instead of the wiki I actually want, which is a, uh, Feed the Beast wiki. Be right back. I have just reminded, I've just been reminded by the part of my head that he's not a dumbass that, um, things are a little, a little different than I probably imagine, and that I have a, uh, an, a, recipe thingy here. So I don't yet have the resources to do what I want to do over here, which is make a, uh, a set of resource pipes. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to show off this. So you'll see there's water in here, there's a heat measure, a measure of something, I'll tell you what that is in a moment, then a measure of stored power here. Also there's a readout for how much power it's currently producing. And these things can work off of most power, most reasonable power sources, and this thing down here can do the same. Um, they all have an inventory of their own, blah, 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 blah. What we're going to do real quick is we're going to throw some power in here. And what we're going to use is we're going to use... This can basically burn anything a normal engine can burn, I want to say. Um, that means that it can burn, believe it or not, reeds from over here. We'll show you how that works in a moment. I'll grab a reed, because reeds are cool. And I like burning reeds, because I'm stupid. Um... It's it's like one of those strange, almost I don't know, almost uh, kind of kind of awkward, you know, obsession with things. Okay, you know what the word I meant was, but I wasn't entirely comfortable saying it there. Um, I like small numbers. I like making small numbers equal big numbers. Yeah, I don't know why. It's just it's just fun. It's just silly, right? It's stupid. But anyway, <laughs> that was awkward. Um, so you can see here that I'll throw these reeds in here, and this will pick up a bit of heat. But there's no steam being produced. Why isn't there any steam being produced? And also you'll notice that when it does, when it's not, when nothing is burning, the heat quickly falls. Uh, we're going to go to bed real quick. Uh, hopefully it won't reach 100 Celsius before we uh, get back. Mm, yeah, I think it will. Oh, okay, well, we'll watch it. I'm fucking up with that dirt placement. Um, so you'll notice this heat is rising. In fact, it reaches just about 100 Celsius and it starts producing steam. And as the steam builds up, it produces, it starts generating more and more MV. You'll notice that it's currently 0.2 MV, it's got about 1,000 steam. And it, it, just in a few moments, you'll notice that it picks up really, really fast as it reaches towards 2,000 steam. Um, with, without a, without being, without having steam forced into it, this is only capable of generating 1.6 MV per second. Or sorry, MJ per tick, probably, of energy. However, and that quickly turns into energy, we see that it builds up energy pretty quick, and all that good stuff. However, when we generate energy, when we generate, we could theoretically create a steam boiler and push steam into those tanks. Push steam into those things. Now that way it could generate up to 2 MJ per tick of power. MJ, by the way, I think stands for Minecraft Joules, because so I'm pretty sure it doesn't stand for Mega Joules, because I think that'd be a little more force than, you know, you might be thinking. Yeah, it might be Mega Joules, though. That'd be a lot of force, though. Uh... A lot of force. Yeah, I think that's a little much. But it might be it might be less than I'm thinking. I might just be being stupid. I mean these are whole meter sized blocks, so actually a million times the amount of energy you would you you would be talking about when talking about, you know, centimeter sized things, cubic centimeter sized things actually makes well, not just a lot of sense. It sounds exactly right. A hundred cubed is a million. Um but hard to say. Anyway. That's how those things work, so... Uh, although I actually don't remember what a joule is a measurement of. I think a joule is in fact a measurement of how much energy it takes to move a gram. Because I'm pretty sure a calorie is how much it takes to heat a 
rather, yeah, a gram. I'm pretty sure a calorie is a measurement of how much heat it takes to heat a gram one degree Celsius from zero Celsius. Um, that's not a food calorie, which is a thousand of those. I, I, you know, which is to say that when you're eating 2,000 calories of food, you're actually eating 2 million um, energy, you know, calories in, some energy in the sense of, you know, how many degrees Celsius it can change things. But again, that doesn't make that amount of food any more or less healthy for any of you who are going, ew, because there were some people in my class when I learned that back in like eighth grade who were like, ew, and I was like, it doesn't change the amount you've been eating, it's still 2,000 food calories. It just means that it has more energy than, it, than you'd think. I mean, think of it this way. Do you think you could run off being able to change, you know, 20 degrees of, um, you only able to move your body, you know, like, less than, you know, less than a degree of total heat change in an entire day? Yeah, no, I don't either. I think you weigh more than two kilograms, so I think that that means that, you know, you wouldn't even be able to keep yourself a degree over the course of an entire day on 2,000 energy calories of food. Rog, you're an idiot. Person in my class, who I don't even remember. <laughs> yeah, like you, I've been eating so much more than I thought. Uh, no, you haven't. Anyway, so I'd also had a better grasp on actual math than my classmates. So. That's a thing. <sighs> Which is why when I see turtles, I write code for them. Also, I had a moment when I was sitting in front of my computer and I'm like, why are they called turtles? Because somebody asked me that and I'm like, why are they called turtles? And then I realized, oh right, it's logo, I get it. Ha ha ha, turtles. Anyway. Logo is easier and more fun, and it came with a better interface than this god-awful interface. You know, you know the, the logo I had when I was a kid, you know, actually used copy-paste! You stupid word! Console interface! Yeah, I know, there's actually a notepad file I could be editing, but... Yeah, the worst part is I wrote a 90-line, you know, piece of code that basically does exactly what the default program Excavate does, and then somebody on, on Reddit was like, uh, you realize there's, you know, an Excavate program, and I was like... Well, I was just trying to learn. They weren't quite that aggressive about it, but yeah, basically they should have been. Um, I think our engine has probably reached max heat. It's probably still running. So what you'll notice is that it bur it's burning. It uh, no, it's actually out of fuel. Um, all right, well, we'll give it some fuel. And by give it some fuel, I mean like 64 planks. Um, what you'll notice here is that I'm is that it's quickly heating up. We'll come back when it's all the way heated up, probably. Which means we'll probably come back next episode. Durr. Okay. Well, anyway, um, I'll probably be back in a few moments. I need to figure out. A, I need to figure out what I'm planning on doing next. And I'll just stay here and like wait till this heats up. No, I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. We're now getting closer and closer to being heated all the way up. What I think you'll may have noticed is that it probably is that it seems to slow down as you get further to max heat. And I think once it's actually max heated, it only produces heat when heat is actually needed. That is to say, it doesn't waste nearly as much fuel as you might think, which is nice, because it means you can leave it unattended without feeling like a dumbass. Um, that's probably going to be pretty close to the end of the episode. We're going to... Um, I wish I hadn't... No, actually, I still need to do that. Um, so we're going to make ourselves some tin cells here. I believe I talked about this strategy last time around. I don't know if I actually have enough tin to make this work. We'll see. Um, I need 20. Okay, so let's... Do I have 20... I have 2010. Okay. Well then, I have exactly enough tin to make this a thing. Yeah! Um, that's inefficient. Oh well. Not quite divisible by three, guys. That was a derpy voice, but I don't really care. Because I feel smart this episode. Like, really smart, because I've been doing all sorts of mathy stuff. And sciencey stuff. Cracked sand. Cracked sand, interestingly, is a fuel source. Yeah! Capable of producing 25k energy. Yeah! Also, for some reason, there appears to be a random sapling that just dropped here. Yeah! Got your random sapling, you're mine. You're going in this machine here. And then you, sapling, you're going in that machine there too. 
because I feel like putting, I like feel like, you know, putting continuous work into this machine. Um, even if I like to make it stop occasionally just to show off how the fuck it works. Yeah. Also, why did I swear there? So you're probably in a new episode now. Um, we'll be back in a minute.